Hello guys and welcome to the channel Swiggy P and welcome to another episode of Kingdom Come Deliverance. So before we start here today, I just want to give a shout out to you lovely lot. Uh, it's the 31 subscribers that have for some reason subscribed to this channel. I started back in uh, 15th of April this year during lockdown and I started off with one subscriber which was another me and I started off with Kingdom Come Deliverance and since then I've... Uh, 31 of you guys have some for some crazy reason have subscribed to this channel now I've had some absolutely amazing comments uh, of you guys some brilliant encouragement fantastic support and just engagement just pure engagement which I absolutely love and uh, I do want to increase this channel size and I hope you guys just continue uh, and, and just have a little ride along with me and hopefully this this channel will get bigger and bigger So I just want to do a quick toast to you guys. Um, just a glass of red wine. Nothing special. It's all I can find in the ice uh, So anyway enough of my rambling. Let's just get on with the game. Let's do it brother What are you doing here? Shouldn't you be working somewhere? Idle hands are the devil's workshop Um. Okay, deny it. I definitely was there. I did come a little late, so perhaps no one noticed me. Brother. There you are. I'm sorry, but I don't believe you. Now, this is your third warning. And do you know what that means? Oh, really? A day in solitary confinement. Oh, God. Okay. Very well, brother. I accept my punishment. Now, show me what you have on you. I must confiscate anything that is not allowed in the monastery. I think I take my torch. Oh dear. Solitary confinement. I've only been here like one morning. It's only breakfast time. <laughs> I'm not a very good monk. Oh wow. 20 hours. You're serving jail time. Yeah. Right, four o'clock in the morning again, so um Ejector started to go to bed. While I was locked up, someone was making quite a racket in the cellar. Blind drunk, I'm sure of it. I wonder what's been going on. What? Where are, where are we now? We're not in the cell, are we? Hang on, hang on. Well, oh, oh, okay, hang on. Nasty habits. Someone is sneaking into the cellar at night to drink wine. I'm pretty sure that's against the monastery rules. Talk to Brother Celarius. He might be able to get you a few useful things. Find out what's going on in the cellars. Hello, what's all these extra quests? Peace be with you, brother. I talked to him. I'm Gregor and I'm new here. I know. I saw you in the church during the ceremony. I have a feeling we'll be meeting again soon. And often, you see, I'm a cicada. Oh. What does that mean? With a cane. I make sure everyone observes the rule, does their work, and that everything is the way it should be. And um, when it's not the way it should be? Get punished. And then we're authorised to mete out punishment. But certainly you won't require correction, will you, brother? No, 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 we won't. Um, oh, he was going to be, he's one of the electees. About the election of the abbot. About you in the election, will you tell me more about it? Ask me anything you want. Tell me something about this Nevlas. So he's the other uh, electee. Tell me something about Nevlas. Nevlas is weak and toothless. Oh. He's full of hot hair. How anyone could think he'd make a good abbot is beyond me. Enough. I, I don't even want to hear his name again. Okay, what's going on in the monastery? I'd like to know what's going on here. Well, the young brothers feel they don't have the same rights and responsibilities as we, who have spent much of our lives here. And what of it? Privilege needs to be earned. Levelus is lying when he says he wants to right wrongs. All he cares about are benefits for himself and his cronies. I'd like to help you. I'd like to help you if I can. Hmm. There is something you could do. Okay. I am convinced Nevelus must have done something that would greatly damage him if everyone found out. If he was preaching water and drinking wine, for example. So I should dig something up on him and tell you about it? Exactly. 
But I doubt you'll have any luck. Neblis is too cunning and careful to give anything away. Okay, I'll tell you when I find something. Once I find something out, I'll tell you. Repet reputation gained. Right, objective started. Find out something that will prevent Nevlas from standing for Abbott. Okay. Oh, can I speak to you? I'm a new brother, a novice, Gregor. I don't know my way around here yet. You're in charge of the whole monastery, aren't you? Welcome amongst us. Yes, yes. The Lord wanted me to take over the Abbot's duties in his absence, but... Mainly, I'm a servant of God, just like you and all the other brethren. Before God, there's no difference between us. How do you like it here? I hate it. Ah, Brother Solarius, can we talk, please? What troubles you? Wow, I'm looking for something that isn't easy to find around here. I'm looking for something a little, um, unorthodox. And what would that be, uh, exactly? Pick? I need to get a weapon. I need to get some wine. I need to get some lock picks. I'm looking for lock picks. Lock picks. And what would you like those for? Cleaning my teeth. <laughs> um, I'd like to practice opening locks. I'd like to practice opening locks. Just for the fun of it. <laughs> Just for fun. Fail. Pull the other one, brother. It's got bells on. Anyway, you're barking up the wrong tree. I can't help you. Yes, we got a pretzel. I'm just gonna keep pickpocketing guys for a bit. <gasps> key. What was that then? What was this key? Key to forbidden books. See, why can I? Oh, brother librarian. Should I talk to him? What is it, brother? Can I learn something about the other novices in the library? Is there anything I can do to help here? Is there anything I can do to help here? I'm glad you asked. There's one thing, a silly thing, really. I haven't thought to mention it to anyone before. But not long ago, a brother brought me a crumpled piece of parchment. He says he found it rolled up in a hole in the wall. Okay. The thing is, it was a page from Ovid. Ovid? What is that? Is it the name of a book? Not what, but who? Ovid was a great Roman poet. We have a few volumes by him in the library, okay. but one of them vanished one day. Now I believe I can guess what happened. Brother Eustace, may the earth rest lightly on him, was quite narrow-minded when it came to classical literature. If a book had any mention of woman at all, he condemned it as a heretical work. If he'd had his way, all such books would have been burned. Ovid's The Art of Love must have been such a thorn in his side that he stole it from the library, tore it up, and hid the pages wherever he could. Okay, so do you want me to put the book back together? Oh, would you like me to put the book back together again? Absolutely. Eustace's wits weren't the sharpest, so I'm sure he didn't destroy any of the pages. I imagine he hid them throughout the monastery. Oh, lovely. It might take you a while to find them all, but when you do, you can rest assured Ovid will return to his rightful place in the library. Okay, uh, I'll look around for Good. it. I'll look around for it. Thank you, brother. It's of no great importance, but if you can find all ten pages, I'll be most grateful. Oh, God, another quest started. Scattered pages. I didn't, know, I didn't expect all these objectives and quests to be... Uh, here in the monastery. Right, we are still in the monastery, so Sal Monastery, impersonating a monk, trying to blend in and all that. Um, we were on a mission to find Pios. Someone is uh, pretended to be him, and we discovered who it was. It was a person called Antonius. So, novice Antonius has admitted to being Pios. Now I have to decide what to do with him. So, the thing is, I've decided to let him live, which means one of the other novices must die. That is, if the bandits were here about a murder in the monastery and they, and they believed I killed Pios. Now, I don't want to um, let Pios go. Uh, no, sorry, what am I saying? I don't want to kill a novice. So, I'm going to let Pios go, I guess. And I don't know, if I don't get a reward from the bandits or if they try to kill me, then so be it. But since being in here, we've amassed a few more quests here. So, we've got scattered pages. So, we have to find 10 pages of some book around this monastery. In the cloister, it's a strange one. Somebody's going for the abbot's post. We've got Brother John and we've got Brother Nevlas. 
and we have decided to uh, side with Brother John. So we have to dish out or find some dirt, dirt about Brother Nevelas. Nasty habit. So whilst we were in the cellars, someone is sneaking in the cellars at night to drink wine. And I'm pretty sure that's against the martial rules. So Brother Solarius used to be a burglar and knew how to get hold of lockpicks. And he really got some for me. Um, I can find out more by going down the cellar at night and take a look. So quite a few little things we got to do. I'm not sure what we could do first. I guess we'll just look for the pages as we come across them. Um, and let's go to this one here. Go to work in the frattery. Report to... Provost Nevlas in the alchemy. What am I actually doing? Oh, here we go. Look, here's Nevlas. I'm Gregor, a novice. I know. I saw you at the ceremony. My name is Nevlas, and I'm the provost here. I'm in charge of the monastery's property, as well as handling trade with the outside world. That means you get to leave the monastery? No, not at all. I just write lists and send them out. Okay, so I'm here for my daily duties. Um, let's ask him about himself. Tell me about yourself. I'm the provost of this monastery. It's my job to ensure the monks live a humble life and that any surpluses go to the poor. But in reality, I spend all my time making sure my brother's gluttony and the construction of a new church don't swallow up the few resources we have left. So this is one of the quests we've got to do. I'd like to know about the election of the new abbot. I'm interested in the election of the new abbot. You're not alone. Everyone's so worked up about that, they spent no time considering how they could make the monastery a better place now. Why? What's wrong with it now? Many brothers think more about their stomachs than prayer. The older brethren bend the rules of the order to make them fit their interests. So, to balance the scales, they want the novices to lead exemplary lives. Sin abounds here, just as in the outside world. Okay, so tell me about, okay, Brother John, he is the other candidate going for the abbot's job. I'd be interested to know more about Brother John. I don't like to speak ill of people, but Circuitor John is the worst person the monks could pick to represent them. He's nothing but an old schemer and pedant who preaches water but drinks wine. What's the throne with that? He's the older <laughs> brethren over because they know he won't call an end to their debauchery. Nothing wrong with drinking wine? Um, so why do you want to become an abbot? Why do you want to become abbot? Because when I see the way things are headed around here, I have no other option. Itinerant preachers speak of the corrupted black heart of the church, and I can't deny there's truth in what they say. I'd like to change things and bring back meaning and esteem to the monastery. So we've got to find something to discredit him, don't we? And I'm not sure what yet. By the way, it's been, a, it's been about a week and a half since I played this game, by the way, because I went on holiday last week and I had to record quite a few episodes in advance. So uh, my memory is a little bit crap these days so I can't remember what well, he was Peter for instance tell me about Peter can you tell me about Abbot Peter Peter's wise in the ways of politics and a good shepherd but as you've already heard he's old and infirm oh Peter's the old abbot I think the other brothers see him with one foot in the grave but I still have hope for him but you brother don't let yourself get involved in the games of your superiors could you help me with something with what I'm interested in medicine, and I know there's a cure for the abbot's ailment. With your help, I could find out the details, and together you and I could give old Peter a few more years to do good. What do you say? You can count on my help. You can count on my help. What do you need me to do? In order to get the recipe for this medicant, a few rules will need to be broken. Oh. Now you know, most of the brothers believe every illness is a message from God and that it's not our place to deny his will. I, however, think if God sent us not just illnesses, but also the medicine to cure them, then it's our duty to relieve people of their suffering. The cure for Abbot Peter's illness could be contained in one of the books in our library, but it will certainly be amongst the Libri Prohibiti, the forbidden books, those we aren't permitted to read. Oh, it seems to be so much to do. Um, why are they forbidden? Why are they forbidden? Because they contain occult and demonic practices, witchcraft and all manner of evil. Or so some people claim. It's nonsense, of course. This is nothing but a book of medicine, albeit one written by a pagan. Ibn Sina, also known as Avicenna, is universally acknowledged to be a wise man. But here, at some point, someone decided his book is the work of a Saracen devil and must be kept under lock and okay. key. Since then, no one can even talk about the book. But the three wise men were from the East, were they not? Were they? Uh, so where can I find it? Where can I find it? In the library, there's a large cabinet with a lock on it. 
The forbidden books are inside. You'll easily recognize what you're looking for. The cover has not only a Latin inscription, but also Saracen letters. Bring it to me, but leave the other books there. No one will notice if one book disappears, but if more were to vanish, someone would certainly begin to look into it, which is exactly what we don't want. Okay, I'm just trying to remember now, back to the last episode. Didn't we pick up a key or find a key for that cabinet? I'm ready? I'm ready. One more important thing. There's always someone in the library during the day. To pass unwatched, you'll need to go at night. Okay. It's locked, but I'm sure you'll manage to get in. They say Brother Solarius understands locks, but don't tell him why you need it. Once you have the book, bring it to me, and I'll then use it to make Peter's medicine. We'll soon have the election of the abbot over and done with. So we've got another quest, Libra Prohibiti. Um... Steal the book from a, from the steal the book at night, forbidden book, and get the key to the cabinet. Okay. Find out so that would it prevent the last one standing for Abbott. Okay. Oh my god, too much. Overload. Tell Brother John about the theft of the forbidden book. I've got the key already. <laughs> it's just like constant, isn't it? Okay, let's end dialogue a second. Let's just let's just back up a second. Okay. Right. Optional, steal the forbidden book at night, which we can do, which we can do anyway and just keep it on ourselves. Um, and lock the cabinet. But in the cloister, I can now tell Brother John about the theft of the forbidden book. So, I will do that, but first I will steal the book, I think. In the meantime, let's just talk to Nevlas again and say, what do you desire, I'm here for my Gregor? duties. I'm here for my daily I'm duties. Here to work. Excellent. I've been waiting for you. There's the alchemist's laboratory. You'll find ingredients in the chests next to it. Today it's your task to concoct two potions to aid digestion. Once you finish them, you'll find me somewhere nearby. Don't forget to let me know when you're done so I can check them. Has that worked? You brewed digested potion. All right, submit the potions. I've finished my work. Show me what you've made. Spectacular, Gregor. You've found your talent. Soon enough, you'll be teaching the other novices. So just checking my inventory, I've noticed I have actually got the key to the forbidden book, so I must have got it at our last episode. Right, so I've waited till night time now. The time is, well, pretty much midnight. So I thought I would creep back to the library and see if that book is in the wardrobe. So this place should be absolutely empty then. I'm in the library. What are you doing here? Who's he? What are you doing here? Well, probably the same as you. I want to be able to read in peace and quiet. And not just the books they make us read. What do you read here? What exactly do you read here? Well, I'd be interested to find the unofficial biography of St. Procopius. But there probably is no such thing. To be honest... I was expecting some entertaining reading, but it's just the same old what, stuffy like, um, nonsense. But if that locked cabinet there with all the forbidden books was open, that would be a different story. Until recently, it was still unlocked. But after something vanished, they've kept it locked tight. Maybe I can get inside? Maybe I could get inside. Oh, that would be wonderful. I'd love to pour over some of those tomes. We'd be in it together, up to our ears in it. What do you say? We'll see what I can do. Right, okay. Sisking. So let's have a look in here then and see if we can see this... Um, this book we're after, this forbidden book. I love the cabinet contained the forbidden books. Wasn't it this one? Avicana? Was it this one or not? Ha. Huh. This looks like the Saracen language. Ib al Hassan. That's who I'm looking for. Avicenna. Unbelievable. Imagine these men could have been burned at the stake just for writing these books. And many were, I'm sure. It's mostly Latin, that's not much use. But what about this one? Magical potions for conjuring diverse apparitions. I'll take it. Hey, you better leave that here. What are you so afraid of? 
People would notice it. No one will notice if one or two books are missing. But this one looks interesting. A sorcerer's potion no, for no, 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 the no. body physical in other realms and for conversing with spirits of all manner therein. Oh, I have to try it out. I'll remember the recipe and prepare it later. Right, okay, let me just shut the door. Let me just close it. So, um, we have the forbidden book. We can return to Nevlas and then we can go to Brother John and tell Brother John that Nevlas has been stealing books. Here's the book you wanted. Here's the book you wanted. Amazing. This really is it. Now I can use it to prepare a cure for our suffering abbot. Then I'll leave it in the library to make it seem as if Brother Librarian left it lying about. There'll be no investigation. It would be against his best interests, as he'll look like the one who wasn't taking proper care of the books. It will drive him mad. I didn't leave that book out, or did I? <laughs> well, I'm going to tell Brother John. For you in return? Okay, so uh, we did it. Bring the book to Nevlas. I'd like to know about the background of the other novices. Oh, so we can probably qu complete the other quest. I'd be interested in finding out the background of the other novices. That's a strange wish you have. And the only ones who know everything about the novices are the abbot and the prior. They keep a record of every monk in the abbot's book. But you'll never get your hands on it. It's locked up in the prior's study. Thanks. You've helped me immensely. No, thank you. About that book, don't even think about breaking in to get it. See, we did the whole looking for the um, Pios completely all wrong. We shouldn't have said anything. Yeah, so that, 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 um, getting that book, it basically followed on. It, it made a quest saying track down Pios. Now, we know who Pios was. So this is a, a, it's a nothingness quest now. So there's no point me doing that. I might as well just go and see Brother John. Nevlas wanted me to steal a forbidden book. Nevlas wanted me to steal a forbidden book from the library. Really? Oh, this must be a dream. Actually, this would never have occurred to me, even in my wildest dreams. Which book? Uh, what did he want it for? Wow. What was that writer called? Avi... Avi... Ah, Avicenna. A pagan and a Mohammedan. He wanted to use it to help heal Abbot Peter. What? That dirty louse thinks he can steal magic books and use them to curse good Christians? Well, he shan't, as long as my name's John. <laughs> I don't think it's really like that. It was a medicinal book, and Nevelis had good intentions. Brother, if the book is forbidden, there is a good reason for it. Forbidden books are full of magic, blasphemy, and witchcraft. There's no excuse for reading them, let alone stealing them from where they've been safely hidden away. Nevelis has committed a grave offence, and he'll pay for it. But listen, brother, for the time being, keep it to yourself. Okay. Now, you've helped me greatly. But I'll save it for when Nevelis begins elbowing his way into the elections. The power of truth is greatest when its timing is right. Very true, very wish. true. I'm glad I could help. I won't forget it. My name's Gregor, a novice. You can call me Siskin. Now, are you here of your own free will or is this a punishment? Although it's not important. Welcome to purgatory. Did you say purgatory? You'll see soon enough. Soon enough. Get to know the other novices. Okay, we finally spoke to all the other novices now. Oh my god. That took a while. Will you tell me something about yourself? I trust him with searching for Pios. We, we know who Pios is, obviously. Will you tell me something about yourself? Will you tell me something about yourself? Look, nothing against you, but I prefer not to talk about my past. Um, okay, are you hiding something? We should win on that one. Are you hiding something? Why are you so reluctant to tell me anything about yourself? I'm hiding a lousy past that I'd rather forget. I hate to think of all I lost when they stuck me in here. And also because I really hate the question, aren't you the son of the famed Sir Smil Flashka of Pardubitz? I was rich and I had everything. But then my father began to feel his time approaching, so he decided to send a son to the monastery. And, being the youngest, a lot fell on me. I've no head for managing the estate, and they said I'd squander it. Can you imagine? Me, in a monastery. So I took what coin I could from home with me, so I didn't lose out completely. 
quest log update of search of Pyros. Um, so you didn't have to come here if you didn't want to. Ah, uh, what the hell? We're only goods in the monastery. Okay, um... You didn't have to come here if you didn't want to. But you didn't have to come here if you didn't want to. No, not if I didn't mind being left to beg arms by the city gate. I had one choice. The monastery, or nothing. He should show them all that is good if it had come to that after my father's death, so be it. But to get rid of me while he's still alive... They must have figured out that you robbed them. They must have realised you robbed them. <laughs> I donated some of the silver to the monastery when I came in, just to piss them off. I can just see my brothers, I mean my siblings, arguing with the abbot to give it back. And you stashed away the remainder? Indeed so. What will you do next? What's your plan with this treasure? To get out of here as soon as I can. I'll wait another year or two until my hot-headed brothers cool off a bit, and then I'll take the silver and run off somewhere. Far, far away from here. Uh, okay, that's all. That's all I wanted to know. Please, keep it to yourself. Especially the part about the coin. Uh, I'm still curious about this stash of yours. I'm still curious about this treasure trove of yours. It's no big terrible secret. Really, it isn't. I just go and read during services. There's no time otherwise. I mean, at other times I don't get to read what I like. And I keep it under the slab so the others don't find it. Slabs. Uh, what book is it? What kind of a book is it? I found it here in the library. It was on a shelf where it should never have been. So I hid it to read later. It's the Necronomicon. Ghosts, demons and invocations of powers beyond our world. Only it's written in a strange language that I can't really make sense of. All bara this and bara that. Who knows what it means? I tried to count the syllables, read the words backwards, but nothing. I'm not getting anywhere with it. Oh, I'm not too sure what the prior or the cicator would say about a book like that. Actually, what anyone would say. It sounds quite... prohibited. Ah, prejudice. But you're right, it is prohibited. For no good reason, though. Has knowledge ever done anybody any harm? It's not prohibited for nothing. If it wasn't harmful, it wouldn't be forbidden. That's a rather limited view of the world. Some write about the saints, others about demons. And an educated person should know both. Pity I can't understand a word it says. And I've been trying for quite a while. Just please don't tell anyone about the book. If the brothers learn that I took it from the library and hid it, I'll be in a lot of trouble. Our brothers' minds are closed to a thirst for knowledge. Okay, I'll tell the abbot I'll leave you be. Actually, I don't care. I'll tell the abbot. I'm sure he'll be keen to hear what the monks get up to instead of prayer. What? A man pours his heart out to you when you play Judas. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Say a word about this to anyone and I'll wring your neck. Touch anything I've buried here and you'll get the same. Are we clear? Right, so I know now Yodok isn't Pyos. We know that anyway. It was Red Heron. Now Siskin, who we just spoke to, was a false trail. He definitely isn't Pyos. But Novice Siskin stashed away coin and a dagger in the monastery. What would you like? Brother, I've a favour to ask, and I think you're the man to help me with it. Or you used to be, before you came here. I see, so it's the dodgy sort of favour, is it? Well, yes. I need to get hold of the keys to the monastery. Hmm, that won't be easy, I can tell you that straight off. The prior always keeps the keys close by him. So how exactly do you imagine I could help? Could you take the keys off him? Rob the prior? You've got to be joking. You wouldn't be doing it for free. Then what could you possibly pay me? I'm done with my thieving, and you'd have to offer me a whole lot of groschen to change my mind. How much would you want? A princely sum, brother. This is no trifling matter. That much? Where am I supposed to find that much coin? No one here has any money. Precisely. 
but no groschen, no theft. And think twice before you ask me that kind of favor again. 200 groschen, you're having a laugh! Right, I've waited till night time. Brother Solarius is here. My plan is to pot pick at him, pot pick pickpocket him, and get some lockpicks. No, rubbish. Right, let's just pickpocket everyone and see if we can get 200 groschen then. Okay, I got the achievement unlocked thief. I've just been going along with all these monks and pickpocketing them, which is really good for my pickpocketing skill. So I'm just going to carry on with this because I want to get a lockpick. Right, I've um, pickpocketed everyone in the monks. I've got a few more levels. But I'm just going to go into the cellars because uh, there was a quest about some wine drinking monks. You've seen us drinking here, so either join in or swear you won't tell a soul. You wouldn't want to end up like Lucas now, would you? Lucas? Okay, um, okay, find out what's going on in the cellars. Sit down at the table with the monks. Okay, I'll join you. Um, I'm not going to drink with you, I'll go. I don't want to drink with you, but I won't say anything to it. Well, I'll join, no, I'll join in. Alright, I wouldn't mind some wine. That's more like it. Sit down and have a drink, my lad. Oh, Sir Cater John. Oh, wow. Quite right, brother. Just sit down and drink with us. Salve. When the wine Be runs well. out, Yorick will fetch more. I'll say one thing, brother. This wine would grace the Pope's table. I'm not so sure. It's a bit sour. God knows what's in it. Don't be absurd. It's a first-class cask, direct from Znoimo. No, I know the taste of a good vintage, and this isn't it. So maybe these guys will leave me alone now. Yorick got the cast mixed up. Nonsense, it's perfectly drinkable. No, it isn't, it's sour. No matter, we'll get more soon, so good health. Good health. Good health. We'll have to take that Yorick to task about where he got this wine and tell him next time he'd better get proper Znoimo. And what would you like? Well, you to leave me alone? What are you doing here? What are you doing here? What does it look like, drinking? But we're all monks. Youngster, when you're as old as I, you'll understand. I'll report to this prior. No, how does those plain ambus and fit in with the most monastic life? But you're the cicators. You're the ones meant to be keeping order here. How can gambling and drinking be a fitting part of a monk's life? If you really want to know, see for yourself. Okay, accept right. the invitation. Have it your way. What's Yodok got to do with you? You mentioned Yodok. What does he do for you? Nothing much. He's just a little suckling like you. He'll do whatever it takes to stay on our good side. Sometimes we make use of him when there are errands to run. Right, so um, we've talked to these guys down here, um, the two uh, serrators, or whatever you call them, and... Uh, it's pretty much led us on to find out Yodok's role in the noct nocturnal drinking banks. Uh, guess we'll do that. Right, I just, I just, I just pickpocketed the keys from the prior. Um, I don't want to get caught now. This is great. What have we here? <laughs> Oh, look That's it. The book with information about the novices. Oh, is it? 
Oh god, I didn't even realise I'd done this. This was a complete accident. Quest completed, the abbot's list. Right, okay, that's taking off a few quests. Although we didn't need to um, find it, we knew who Pyros was, but we found this by complete accident. We've still got a little in haystack. We've got to do this main quest here. So in the cloister, go to church for mass. We don't do things like that, do we? Uh, so I want to find out about Jodok's role in the, the nocturnal drinking bouts. Um, and I got so I can get 200 groceries. So I want to kind of pickpocket a few of the uh, of the guards and whatnot, see if I can get the 200 groceries. So uh, let's do that. Right, so I've been going around and stealing people's money, pickpocketing. It's really good for the old uh, skill, I'll tell you that much. I've got 118 groschen so far, so I want to get 200 groschen, but I don't know, I don't need it anymore. I don't know why I'm doing this, because it gave me the keys to the monastery. I've already got the keys to the monastery. So I need to speak to jo Yodok about the drinking. So uh, let's do that. Ah, Yodok. Ah, Gregor, talk to me. Okay, I came across the brother, Sir... Uh, circators in the cellars. I came across the brother circators in the cellars. They drank wine and played dice. I know, but what can you do? Does that really seem right to you? Yes and no. They're the elder brothers, so they're allowed much of what we aren't. And we'll be in their position ourselves soon enough. Some sooner than others. Even you, if you help me out with something. You just have to promise not to tell anyone. Okay, um, it depends what you tell me. Okay, I promise. No, it depends what you tell me. It depends on what I hear. I can't tell you anything until you swear to keep your silence by St. Procopius himself. Okay, I promise. I promise. Right. Just imagine you're a fresh novice and some elder brother offers you friendship and asks you to do him a service. Nothing too big. Oh. Just a cask of wine for their nighttime revelries. A monk who steals wine so other monks can get drunk. The Circator brothers are exemplary monks. A little nocturnal fun can't be a sin. Just tell me, how would you have acted? Would you rather have the Circators as friends or enemies? Mm, okay. I want friends. So we've done that, now find out Yodok's role in the nocturnal drinking baits. I choose their friendship. In which case, you understand my position. The Brother Circators need another cask. They finished the first one already. Can you help me get it? Yes, sure. There's no better way to get them on your side. Oh, okay, okay, good idea. I'll help you. I'll help you. What do I need to do? To get hold of the wine, we'll have to leave the monastery. That's fine, that's fine. I, I know it's forbidden, but we've no other We've option. done it already, haven't we? If wine started going missing here, someone would notice. But to leave the monastery, we need the keys. Got the keys. And only the prior has those. Wait a moment. Are you saying I'm supposed to steal the prior's keys so I can go and steal wine somewhere else? Well, you see why I don't want to do it myself now, do you? I don't have what it takes. I, I can't get those keys, but you could. Or, or you might be able to pick the locks. But you've done it once before, haven't you? Last time, the prior was sick. And he left the monastery keys in the circator's care. So they unlock the gates for me. This time we'll have to steal the keys. Okay, um, well I've got the keys ready, but I'll ask him, how can I get hold of the keys? How can I get hold of the keys, do you think? I don't know, but it might be possible to do this without them. Brother Solarius, the cellar keeper, used to be a burglar. Yeah, we know all this, we've we, we done all this. And, and maybe you could help us, if you could find a way to arrange it. Do you think he'll want to take part in theft? No. But he could give some advice, or maybe get some lockpicks to open the gate. You'll figure something out. If you think so, I can try. Once you have the key or some lockpicks, come and see me and we'll make our plan. Right, okay, so I've got the lock, I've got it anyway, so it should be objective completed now. I'll get some lockpicks, I've got the key. Um, about the keys. Still the monastery keys, okay, done that. Let's go end dialogue a second. Right, so let's talk to him again. What do you desire, Brother Gregor? OK, 
Okay, don't need that. Um, we got the keys anyway. About the keys? Oh, I've read the abbot's book. I've read the abbot's book. It says in there that you're not as saintly as you make out. Actually, it seems like you're as lecherous as a boring rut. You broke into the abbot's quarters to spy on me? You, you won't get away well, with well, it. Well, 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 I wasn't hold. interested in your opinion about what I did. What interests me is you and what the book has to say about you. I'm not going to tell you anything. I'm going to report you. Um, don't you dare. Just try it and I'll smack you so hard your feet won't touch the ground. No, 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 don't hit me. I won't say anything to anyone, I promise. Okay, about the keys. About those keys? Did you get them? Keys? Oh, at least lockpicks. Yes, oh, yes I have them. Yes, yes, I have them. In that case, come before midnight to the cloister garden. I'll be waiting for you there and we'll head off. Okay, right then, guys, that's the plan. We have to go and meet Yodok um, in the Cloister Garden just before midnight, um, and we can help him get some wine for these monastery police. If we do that, then they'll leave us alone, and they will, well, they will hopefully let us get away with going to Mass and Morning Prayer, which means we can get on with the quest A Needle in a Haystack. Uh, so we've still got the, the haystack to do, obviously. Um, so optional, go and meet Yodok in the evening in the Monastery Garden. We'll do that on the next episode. And we got to find the rest of the pages from Scattered Pages Quest. So we'll do all that on the next episode, hopefully. So I hope you've enjoyed the episode, guys. If you have, please leave a like. And I will hopefully see you on the next episode. Take care. See you later.